This is the only way right now. This is it. We just moved here, and uh, me and my boyfriend, we just moved here back in February. And uh, yeah, before they even opened up the, this little access for the residents, we had to hike in through the other side. It was like a 10, 15 minute hike over the lava. It's actually a family house. Um, and we're kind of staying in there right now, maintaining it, taking care of it. It was 10 acre property, but uh, they did lose some acreage. I, I don't really know how many how many acres, but um, but the lava is really close. So I would say it's probably about maybe 50 yards away from the house. Um, yeah, so it's really close. We've only had one trespassing incident that's being addressed. Um, the person who trespassed was on a bicycle and through posting it on Facebook, I got the name of the person and I filed a police report today. Um, and actually she was putting at jeopardy the whole access issue. And she turns out to be an adventure junkie. So that's being taken care of. But you know, the, the real thing that sort of lifts my spirit is seeing the agricultural land that's available and the, the resilience of people, uh, people wanting to get back, people getting in, encountering people who've been in and who are, you know, very, very grateful. And uh, I'm humbled by how grateful they are to be able to get in.